hi everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Val and I'm a mom of two kids I'm a full-time um, corporate employee running a side business and a YouTube channel my channel is all about my own financial journey and if there are like uh, interesting topic or information i saw online i am also sharing here uh, tips and advice regarding financial i am not a guru i'm more on like sharing my own personal experience here so for today's video guys i'm gonna be sharing with you my planners and as well as my plans for the year 2024 especially on the part of the finances because you know this is financial journey and um, before we dive in into this I'm going to be sharing with you that this is my old budget planner and I'm so proud of myself kasi pangalawang budget planner ko na po ito and I'm so consistent in doing this this is my 2021 finance planner and this is my 2022 finance planner and this is going to be my 2024 finance planner which I will be sharing it to you later on. So by siguro um, before the year 2023, mag-run tayo dito sa aking old na finance budget planner to go through each you know sh share some thoughts or how it goes in terms of my finances for this year 2023 guys that is after um pumasok yung last paycheck ko for december 2023 para makapag recap ako o makapag recap tayo kung anong nangyari natin all throughout 2023 Guys, parang kailan lang 2023 started January and the last thing I remembered is nahihirapan ako sa sinking funds ko because palapit na yung birthday ng anak ko for the February and wala pa akong naipon for the birthday which I am so proud right now kasi meron na which I will be sharing to you soon. So, hindi na ako magpapatumpik-tumpik pa. Next video is all about my 2023 finance planner flip through sharing with you my 2024 finance as well as my goal for the 2024 so i'll start with um this is by the way i print it on my own so this is uh like kung gaano ko talaga mina maximize or that will be something na um, magagamit ko according to how i do my finances now, I created a yearly goal planner, guys. It says January, February, but it doesn't mean na i-achieve ko siya on that specific month. It's just that on a specific months, if meron akong, like, pumasok sa isipan ko na I have, uh, let's say, for example, March na tayo ngayon, and on that March, naisipan kong mag-ipon ng pang down payment ng sasakyan. So, I'll put it here. So, that's what happened here, guys. Kasi, December pa lang, talagang naisipan ko na kung ano yung mga goals ko. And that's, I put it in January. I also put some, <clears throat> I also put some, like, notifications, especially sa mga birthday, para alam ko kung ano yung mga medyo may magagasto talaga uh, on a specific month na merong magbe-birthday. So, uh, example na din dito, sa October, may, man, may national day, uh, magko-costume yung mga kids. So, meaning, gagasta ko for the costume. For the November, merong Halloween costume. So, I'll have to set aside sinking funds on those months for their costume, guys. Para ma-enjoy naman nila yung mga events, ba? So, ito yung yearly goal planner ko. Now, next, I have my savings tracker. So, this is year 2024, saving for, actually, I, what I do is, if you remember, I have, like, let's say, example, let's say, meron akong summary dito that my savings is 16,000. So, I will be putting, siguro, pag January, uh, lalagay ako dito ng 16,000, and I'm also gonna see or track if, 
I can put savings week one, week two, week three, week four, which I have already discussed to myself na yung um, rollover kapag meron ako na itabi for my rollover from my allowance, 50% goes to the sinking funds, 50% goes to what I wanted to buy. Like online shopping or anything na gusto kong bilhin or kainin or anything like that. So, I'm gonna do it on a weekly basis. I'll try to see if meron akong natabi. Okay? But, of course, there's gonna be like total. Para ma-visualize ko talaga by the end of the year that um, how much total each month I'm setting aside for the savings. My money pot, savings tracker. So, my first goal talaga is I wanted to save up one month ahead. Like, I have to, anong tawag dito? Like, one month of your salary nakapag-set aside ka dun uh, para hindi siya matatawag na emergency but I called it like calamity fund so in case um, in case there is something like kasi may plans kami by, this, by next year that I will go out of the country and when I go out of the country I need to left a money here para may panggasto yung family ko so let's say one month akong mawawala eh de, dapat may one month akong natabi for them na magkagasto. And then, next one is tuition fee. So, that which is 30000 So, I wanted to save up tuition fee for my um, eldest son na mag high school. I wanted to transfer him kasi nasa public school siya ngayon. And I wanted to transfer him on um, pag nag-high school siya onto a semi-private kasi iba yung ambience ng semi-private na school compared sa mga students in a public school no, no ano ha, walang hindi ako like nagkikritics it's just that um, iba lang talaga yung ambience and also, may expose siya to a different kind of kids um, how compare niya yung life niya from elementary and how compare niya yung life niya in high school and as well as gusto ko yung time ng classes ng private kasi 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. which is the usual kung ano yung school hours ko before kasi ngayon parang 6 a.m. to 12 noon lang yung mga bata and um, parang ano gagawin nila na half day di ba wala magsisalfo lang yan sa bahay especially ako natutulog lang the whole day or in the morning so hindi ko talaga matatrack sila uh, mas maganda na nasa school sila para meron silang activities or more on learnings, di ba? So, I decided to have him save up for his tuition fee next year na nakapag-save up ako para, you know, hindi tulungi kapag magbabayaran na. Meron akong save up. Kung maga, advance ako. Meron akong natabi for him. Tapos, on a monthly basis, mag-save up naman ako for his tuition fee para, you know, nakapunta talaga. Nakapondo ako. May pondo ako. Yun yung term ko. And then, another saving tracker here, which, I'm not sure, nagdadalawang isip ako if uh, it's gonna be a MacBook laptop or a um, camera, camera for my vlog. so, yun. Meron din ako naisip na, EF, by the way, emergency funds, that was, meron ako naisip na mag-renovate ako ng room, tsaka yung computer office ko. And I'm not sure how much will it cost me. So, nilagay ko lang dyan na yun yung goal ko. But I have no specific amount yet. Travel with kids. Of course, that's part of my list talaga. I want to travel with the kids. Uh, just the three of us. No? So, yun. And, starting of the month, we have this monthly budget plan. Actually, yung ginawa ko, I wanted to start with a summary so, yung summary, it's gonna be how it looks here. So, if you notice. So, if you notice, meron na kong summary dito ni income savings tapos tap. Uh, lalagyan ko yan dyan dito. And then, savings goal. Um, dito din. Dito din yan, guys. So, emergency, uh, starting balance, Goal, 
Tapos, yung monthly debt tracker, which is ito. So, I'm fan of writing down. Talaga. I, I like it this way, eh. Kasi, every month, I refresh ko yung self ko. Ah, okay, nandito na ako sa part na to. Ah, uh, ito na lang yung utang ko. Ito na lang yung kulang ko. And I'm happy with it. Kasi, meron talaga yung progress. Kaya, hindi ko talaga siya final feel na ready template kasi gusto kong sulatan siya. Gusto kong isulat para mas matandaan ko. So, that's how it is. Then, we have the budget month. Actually, bi-monthly to eh. Kasi, yan. First page siya. Tapos, second page siya. Diba? So, ito yan. Ready template siya, guys. My January 1. Full-time savings um, expenses notes, tapos yung total summary here. I always wanted to make sure that I have a summary para meron akong tracking on my own kung saan banda na ako. Same goes way with the other months in here. Actually guys, testing lang to, tong summary na to. Hindi ko siya printing out every month here kasi I'm not really sure if comfortable ako in doing this. So, um, hindi ko man pinaprint out talaga lahat. Um, along the way, siguro mag-iiba tong part na to. Along the way, siguro mag-change ito. But that would depends on sa so feeling ko. Ito yung nagustuhan ko when you have your own printer, when you have your own um, talent to do the edits and everything. Kasi um, you can... Uh, ano ba yun? You can customize it according to what you really want. O, di ba may presyo pa siya dito? <laughs> okay, so, yun lang guys. Um, our next vid... Ah, by the way, ito. By the way, I wanted to share the comment section, guys. Ano yung month... Ano yung savings goal nyo for the year 2024? Let me know in the comment section below and just share it. I'm happy to read all of your comments, guys. And again... Um, thank you so much guys for joining me in this video. Our next video is going to be the flip through of our 2023 budget planner. And then if you like this video, hit the like because it really helps and boost my channel to reach more financial people, uh, to reach more people like you na gusto talagang ma-achieve yung mga financial goals. And yun, um, ano pa ba? And if you have any family, friends na nangangalangan ng katong klaseng video, please don't forget to share it to them. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so every time I will see, every time I will upload new finances video, you will get notified. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video, guys. I love you so much and I hope you are all happy with what's going on with your life. And if not, keep you know, be consistent lang guys. Do not give up. Always do it. Um, every now and then, just do your routine. Like me, I haven't really, um, I'm, for me kasi guys, hindi ko talaga ito na-achieve in one snap lang. This is, 2024 will be my third year in doing this cash taffing and in doing this budget tracker, budget planner. And, you know, every year or every month i can see myself is improving as long as i'm not giving up as long as i'm on track as long as i keep doing it and i'm not stopping so just like you guys if, if you happen to start this don't give up right away if you felt na um nothing is really working out or nothing is wala kang progress na makita guys every small steps count so, kahit nga ano pa yung kaliit yung pera mo, as long as you do your budgeting, as long as, like, kahit kulang siya, guys, as long as you're doing it, documenting it, go for it. The, hindi importante kung ang halaga ng pera, kung magkano yung kinakash stuff mo, ang importante dito is being consistent and never give up. Yun lang yan. Okay, so that's all guys. Thank you so much for joining me for my 2023 and I will see you on our next videos. Bye guys. Bye.